Ooh. Juicy. It's freaking juicy. Um, so do we need to raise this up before I drop the trans? Did you start with the video? Yeah. Oh, shit. You got to be, look cool. You got me ripping ass, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just drop this and then... You gotta see the engine right now. <laughs> I got the lights going too. Oh, here you go. Wait. If you shut the garage door, <laughs> it's like drift garage. Now I can't see shit. <laughs> we, need to, we need to put in the the, the music. Okay, so now okay. I think you should put a jack in the rear, the front end. Okay, we need to turn the fucking lights on. This right. oh, so what we need to do is let's get like the car down. Let's get the car down, and then when we're pulling it out, we'll just shut the lights off. And not to be like our Okay. I've seen, okay. seen, okay. seen it before in a video. It looks really tough. I've seen it before in a video. Trust me. I enter in Chris Forsberg today, and it looks tight as hell. Ryan Turk. Oh. Okay, okay. Right. Right. Keep going forward. I know, I'm going. Alright. That one's okay. There. Ooh, hey. Uh, there. It's fine. Like, right there. Yeah, it's got no engine to chance. It should be pretty good. Pretty frickin' light, man. Pretty frickin' light. Did you break full? Yeah. Yeah, it's full. Then I got chopped. So what makes a drift button, like, actually work? Uh, what it does is it keeps the spring from latching. So then all you do is you just... I know what we should do. Let's keep these, but then just keep it on, like, uh, right here. See, so that's, that's a couple inches. What? Yeah. So just lower the car down onto the jack instead. I was just going to use this. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I do. Yeah. So what you could do is, yeah, this is like five or six inches, right? Uh, yeah. Which should hopefully do that. Alright, go for it. Okay. Just drop the 
tires are too hard. <laughs> like the ones I used at home, like they squished and like formed around it. These are pretty new tires. Got it. Why is this becoming the hardest part? You know what? This was the hardest part for me too. Well, the 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 feet were so close together. I had a hard time getting the motor off the pallet. Or no, getting the pallet off the leg. Off the leg. So I used it to pick it up, motor and pallet. But but then when I went to set it down, the pallet was sitting on the back. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do it for you. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna do it for you. This will actually look and stuff. We did it! Woo! We did it! It's after, finally up. <laughs> after like five hours of me beating on, it. beating on it, trying to get this, trying to get this transmission down low enough, and then uh, oh, what about the exhaust? We had to pull a couple bolts on the exhaust. And this is what we use to cut the bolts off the exhaust. <laughs> we saw about it. Up. I told you, sawzall, sawzall, sawzall. Yeah, Kyle had told me, let's just sawzall it off. I'm like, no, 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 let's just, let's just try and unbolt it. And like 30 minutes later, we ended up sawzalling it. So, shit just went with you, man. I'm just telling you, Alex, I think an LS would look really nice. Ooh, LS would look very nice. 
Maybe next time. Maybe once maybe once this engine blows up a second time, maybe at that point we should go out. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that and but, a few more paychecks. Yeah, a few more paychecks. I hope you can hear me even with the music going on. Probably not. Probably not. It's probably Everything all... Everything we said was probably just like... Mumble. Mumbling. <laughs> but check that out. Oil and all, like... All of that shit is going to get cleaned up. This would be a great time to paint the engine. I know. But remember, it is just a drift car. It is just a drift car. It is pretty, looking pretty sad though. I mean, it'd be real easy to paint this up. Just Someone already has painted it. Yeah, he was the last owner. You could just clean it. Maybe it'd look... Maybe I feel like nice. just cleaning it because I don't know if I want to wrap all this stuff up and paint around it. That'd suck. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> no. Right on. Right on. Oh, cool. Well, this is kind of how it's looking. It's pretty ugly. Pretty ugly <laughs> normal self. Oh, uh, big shout out to Handcook Tire, Linwood, and 425 Motorsports. That's 425 Motorsports. 425 Motorsports. No one says 425. 425, 425. Some pretty wheels that I painted a while ago. It's metallics. And my really wrinkled paint job with metallics. Let me paint. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let Kyle paint my car next time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can wet sand this now that it's up on jacks. Maybe when you're an FD and I'm the lead mechanic, we'll look back at this and laugh one day. Hey, you heard it in person. <laughs> one day. One day in FD. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Dude, by the time like you're even around capable enough to get in the FD, there's probably gonna be a different type of drifting series. Maybe. Yeah, they're gonna be doing like 200 mile an hour entries. They're going way too fast. <laughs> Dude, electric drifting, that's that's the future. Yeah. 100% torque, 100% horsepower, zero RPM. Zero RPMs. The there, people in the stands are gonna be like, hey, you hear that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Just tire smoke. Neither do I. <laughs> Cool. Pretty cool. Got the exhaust pulled. Ooh, that's a cool shot right here, right between the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. This all just needs the good scrubbing. I feel like it would really clean out if I just just chemical and scrub. Put the hand, put the back hand into it. That's not it. What do you? Put some shoulder into it. Elbow grease. Elbow grease. There you, you go. Think of elbow grease. Elbow grease. Nah, but you know, paint the valve cover. You know, ah. the motor is gonna be a part. So you might as well do everything you want to do now, right? You're right. That's what I'm thinking. Like, just get everything painted up. I want to do. Blue yeah, valve we, cover. I, I think we did that for now. Uh, maybe. Probably. <laughs> you know, in all actuality. <laughs> yeah, that would have been like right. Right where. It's right been. there. Right where Probably. it's been. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Now you know that's our goal for next time is to. Special thanks for to Taco Time. Yes. For providing us with the fuel to do this. Taco Time, please sponsor us if you see this video. Free taco time. Free taco time. Awesome. Dude, That's we like could. Best sponsor ever. <laughs> we could <laughs> <be> tires. <laughs> yeah. People need food more than tires. And screw you, Fred Myers, for losing our SD cards. So we had to buy like two new ones. <laughs> buy two new ones. I know this dude who's checking us out loses my SD card that I learned how to drift on. A little upset, but it's okay. It's not like. Nothing was saved on it. Though. Nothing was saved. No. No, so it wasn't like a total loss. Still, that's 30 bucks that could have went to other stuff, like Underglow. Yeah. Rainbow Underglow. Rainbow Underglow. <laughs> like someone what else's RX car. Is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's, uh, here's Kyle's awesome 240. You can see that in the dark. And it's not SR or KA powered. It's RB. It's RB. Yep. So, pretty cool. But, uh... Here it is.
in the madness of all this junk that accumulates, you do a motor swap. Yeah, put the tunnel ram. So, okay, I put the tunnel ram. <laughs> yeah. The massive tunnel ram. Massive tunnel ram going on my 496 big block. Dual 770s. Yes, the, the linkage is reversed, so don't make fun of me on why it doesn't move. It's really dusty. This is dumb. Anyways, another project. Oh, Ignite. Oh, if I could get a sponsorship through Ignite, that would be pretty cool because their gas is really good. And uh, Michael Essa runs it, so if Michael Essa runs it, why can't I? So, yeah, that's my proposal. All right, well, we'll okay. catch you guys on the flip side. Either yeah. when we're getting the motor or putting it back in. Probably both. Probably both, yeah. Maybe do a couple videos of like uh, maybe cleaning the engine bay and some other stuff. I don't know, are we even gonna post this on YouTube or is this just gonna be something that we post all at once? I think I think you could post it bit by bit. Because people bit. like to follow builds. People are crazy for that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if you should post videos of cleaning the engine bay. This is how you clean an engine bay. <laughs> like the engine bay. For all of you, uh, Pressure washer. <laughs> Try not to focus on the wires. Those are kind of important. It's a little important to not get water in. <laughs> Jeez. Sitting there cutting lines to treasure washer. I'm washing my car. <laughs> Dude, we've got an industrial. It's like 3,600 psi. So yeah, we could, we could cut through. That would cut through cords. Yeah. Almost anything. All right, cool. All right, guys, we're gonna shut it off. Got the engine cold, so. See you later. See you later.